3rd July, 9 o'clock. So we started harvesting yesterday. Uh, we were forced to uh, do this because of the uh, typhoon. There's a lot of rain at the tail end. It, uh, we are concerned about this part of parcel of the land that the the water is not draining fast enough. So we ha we had very little choice, but however we had to uh, to start reaping. Uh, suck. So my estimate is impacted because of the losses. The the rice teller uh, they planted five, and they were planting close. So we pulled off two, uh, and we counted the uh, the tellers, and they're both the same. Twenty three pieces, twenty three tellers. And uh, somehow we have to uh, learn from lessons learned. We need to understand uh, what's going on with these, how we can improve it, improve yield. I mean, the last lessons learned I had, they're all La Nina. Now it's El Nino. So for El Nino, lesser rain, July. A uh, couple of typhoon in July, and uh, we're we're getting into uh, August, and my target to harvest all is before middle August. So next week is middle August, around there, and uh, you know it, there's a prediction of 16 typhoon. Well, 16 minus 2 typhoon, that's 14. So there's 14 more. So now we're going to uh, measure out one square meter so that uh, we get to learn uh, what a sw one square meter uh, mass is like. So, so Arvin uh, cut off a hill. And these are the impact of rain. The quality is really bad. And uh, what I find amazing is the seeds are germinating on the pinnacle itself. Like, like I'm, I'm first time I've seen that. And so the 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 quality of rice and the masses will be impacted on my estimate like uh, this is really really sad to see because uh, this this impacts the uh, the quality and uh, what's going to be uh, into the sack so there's a huge uh, impact to estimate. This is another hill and it's uh, 25 tellers. Again, as you can see, the spikelets are really bad, impacted by, by the rain itself. And uh, here, it's, it's hard to see, but see it's germinating. So. There is no controlling of weather, it, it is what it is, so in, in fact it's, it's hard to develop mitigation plan. So, you live by, you only need to deal with this, you get what you get. So this is one hill. And we're counting the amount of tellers that is in one hill. It's uh, it's going to be about a hundred. 
So our target is to have this kind of uh, tellers in a hill. The distance though is going to be challenging. So hill one, hill two. So really uh, ideally we should have this much hill uh, tellers per hill but the distance is a, a challenge. So there's going to be a compromise. Maybe 60 dollar per hill and distance will be like there. So already that's 50. So this bunch is 50 and then maybe another 50. So the guys counted 101 tellers, so we want to do this in the future. So I brought two hills home so I can uh, uh, do a physical uh, way of hill 1, this is 17 tellers, hill 2, 24 tellers. Uh, I'm going to uh, extract the good spikelet and uh, that's how the uh, harvester is doing it and then look at the losses. Out from the uh, harvester uh, are these waste. There are good spikelets however because it's wet the harvester is unable to shake them loose, the spikelet loose. And so there's, uh, by the looks of it, there's a, about a third loss uh, from, from here to here, there's about a third uh, losses. So from my estimate, I will see if the numbers comes out to be a third loss uh, that's the uh, most likely the correction factor is 30%. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, extract good spikelets and then see what the losses are. And that will be my correction factor toward the uh, actual versus uh, estimates. So I have removed the spikelet from the uh, tellers. Now out of the 24 tellers, three are of no value because uh, the spikelets, uh, they're empty. Empty shell. They're like, they don't have seeds. So that's one of the problem too is uh, you can have these and uh, they're empty so they're thrown out of the uh, harvester also uh, a lot of the spikelet are empty also so i've only i have only removed the one that are of uh, value like these are uh, they're empty uh, spikelet so already there's losses here okay losses from uh, unfilled spikelet and then some of the panicle are, are uh, okay but a lot are not okay so that's just the way it is so this is the raw uh, spikelet I haven't we know the uh, this yet so I'm gonna I'm going to measure the mass of this first and then after that we know it. So the mass of the cup is around 2 grams. And I'm going to add the uh, uh, spikelets. Actually this is also 2 grams. So I'm just going to move that. So the, the mass of cup plus spikelet is 86.78. So I'm just going to add 
uh, do well 86 minus 2 is 84 so 84 84 7 grams okay so and it's uh, and it's 21 uh, panicles or uh, dollars so I'm just gonna do a calculation of 84 divided by 21 dollars so my average is 4 grams per dollars um, not sure how accurate that is going to be. However, it's double than the the one example I'm using. So I'm I'm going to make some uh, calculation based from uh, guesstimate. We harvested basal a couple of days ago. The uh, the one point two hectare uh, we harvested about 162 uh, sacks each sacks is 52 kilo now the uh, now I have actual data to use uh, versus the estimate estimated yield so I went to to get some uh, data and uh, now quite frankly these are initial data they are uh, mainly used to get some sense of what is going to be the yield and also to uh, provide some sort of uh, information that I would use later so uh, again my data gathering is not consistent so and that's to be expected because I do not have or develop a method yet to uh, get consistent data it will be over time this is the very first time I really went and dug into the reasons why we don't have the yield we're looking for and how to improve the yield the next uh, several years so the the thing then is understand what to do and then develop a method to uh, go up to 300 sacks per hectare so here on the excel spreadsheet i had an estimate yield of 285 and the actual yield is 162 and multiply that by 52 kilos and that's the uh, metric tons uh, for the uh, 12,000 square meter so now getting the data from this I was actually able to extract 2.5 grams per teller actually uh, even that is variable However, I use it uh, because if I use three grams, uh, the numbers go crazy. Uh, so it's actually uh, the teller per teller is between three and 2.5 grams, not less than two. So why is there a big gap uh, between yield, actual yield and estimated yield? And I reasoned it out to several reasons, I call it gap reasons. And uh, the main uh, factor is actually the weather. So during the flowering stage, it, the, it was raining and there was a bit of a, a rain. And early in the morning, the uh, spikelet opened their shell to bring out the flower and uh, when it open or when it opens or they open the their purpose is to capture pollen from each other 
down downwind, upwind. When the when the uh, panicle is shaken up or shook up, then pollen will drop into the uh, flower. And uh, when that happens, uh, around ten o'clock, it would close the shell. And from there, it develops the uh, the milk, to which then harden to become uh, the rice that we eat. Now, when it when it rains and there's uh, a little bit of strong wind, many uh, spikelet are not pollinated. Quite a bit, actually, tremendous amount. So now you have these panicle, uh, the spikelet empty, quite a bit of it, I notice. So uh, that adds to the amazing mass that uh, was to be from the uh, estimated yield. I mean, the estimated yield, I mean, we're, we're looking at developed spikelet. So that's, that's what it stemmed from. I mean, you, you can have teller, but the spikelet are empty. And so those are thrown away during the uh, harvest, harvesting of the, uh, of the rice. So that is the reason why the actual yield versus the estimate yield, really there's a big gap. It's 50% uh, or more. So the, the other thing too is uh, inconsistent planting. The, the understanding of the, the form or the form factor or the hill to hill planting, initially uh, the, uh, the planters, the people, they are given an instruction to pl plant close together or far together uh, have uh, 15 teller per hill planted. The 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 form is not uh, consistent, so they could be uh, I know this. They could be far apart, close together, and so the density is inconsistent. So when I went ahead and. Uh, chose a square meter area, it doesn't mean that all of the uh, 12,000 square meter will be like so, like it will have 25 uh, hill per square meter. It isn't so. And uh, that's the reason why uh, I would have inconsistent, inconsistent data. So, and it adds to the missing gap or of uh, 285 sacks to 162, it's quite a bit. So for for the next go round, we will develop a tool to form fit uh, certain hill per square meter. For example, uh, we're going to, to form fit uh, four by four hills per square meter. So that's 16 hill per square meter. Another one would be five by four, would be 20 hill per square meter. I'm not going to, to go tw uh, five by five. They're just too close together. And that's too dense. And uh, what, then, what leads to happen is that the hill will interact with the other hill. And as soon as the, their roots touches, they stop developing tellers. So, uh, we want or we need to develop a method to consistently plant the hill so that as the, the roots spread out, uh, it will develop more tellers. And then at some point, they will stop uh, developing uh, tellers. So my target is 60 uh, tellers per hill. Now, uh, th that might well be uh, 16 by 16 square meter, but I don't know. 16 
kill per square meter. So we're, we're going to experiment. And uh, so, so I'm, I'm reasoning, reasoning it out, the reasons why estimate yield and actual yield is 50%. The correction factor is 50% or more. And, uh, and that's okay. I mean, that's, that's the reason why I'm, I'm doing this is to better understand the gap between yield, estimated yield, and actual yield. 50% is quite a bit. And uh, I noticed there was a lot of loss uh, uh, due to uh, empty uh, spikelet. Uh, the rain just provided, oh, the rain just damages the uh, damage many spikelet that turn black and a lot of the the grains begins to root take root and so those are uh are, are no good and the harvester harvester would uh, throw those out anything that is light enough would be thrown out uh so this this is this is the way it is with this kind of weather so El Nino, July, lots of rain, couple of typhoon. So this, this is the behavior of El Nino. So we'll see what happens as the uh, days progress. Thanks for watching.